Hello, my name is Zaya. Welcome. This practice was designed specifically for Vanessa, who has struggles with creating supportive structure. And without that supportive structure, there's challenges with motivation and productivity. So this practice can be considered like a daily practice. It's something you can come back to again and again. And I recommend that you try to do it at the same time every day for a couple of weeks and see what the impact is on your greater life. We'll be kind of toggling between longer holds with room to explore and then wind some of those chronic tension and chronic pain places in the body with a flowing practice that can get us into sort of the natural rhythm of our breath and of our nervous system. So as far as I know, Vanessa does not have many yoga props at home. If you like to use yoga props to support your practice, go ahead and gather them now. I'll be working with one blanket and with a um, can, uh, which we'll use at the end to massage the neck. And uh, if you have something like these fancy tune-up balls or any other sort of like neck support massagers, you can use that instead. All right. So if you are coming back to this practice in a daily way, you can just skip the introduction from here on out and begin here seated on a blanket, a folded blanket, so that your hips are propped up and your spine can be a little bit more comfortable growing tall out of the pelvis. Take a moment to feel yourself arrive to your practice with all of those sort of distractions of the mind, with all of the ways that your body calls at you with sensation or pain or discomfort. And see if you can imagine yourself like a big, broad bowl holding all of it, not having to push any of yourself aside to be here not waiting for perfection, but arriving exactly as you are. Take whatever a deep breath looks like for you today in through the nose. Soften your mouth and exhale. Two more like that. Inhale through the nose. Soften your jaw and lips and exhale out the mouth. One more time. And exhale. We'll inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And exhale, roll the wrist out as you bring your arms back down. And we'll just do that with the breath, inhaling to rise. And exhale, roll the wrist as you come down. Can you coordinate your breath with the movement so that for the entire time that you're reaching up, you're breathing in, and for the entire time that you're coming down, you're breathing out? And you'll notice there's a little pause at the top of the breath. You inhale, pause, and then exhale. A little pause at the bottom of the breath. Let's do this one more time, keeping the jaw and shoulders soft. Good. Stand on your left leg, so I'll be your mirror image. Put your left foot in front of your right ankle or off to the side, whatever's more comfortable here. Take your left arm out in front and connect arm to knee. Let there be a strong squeeze here between the two. Reach right arm forward. 
and then like a backstroke, reach back and look back towards your hand. And then we'll rewind that. You can inhale as you reach your arms skyward and exhale as you drop forward. And repeat, inhale as you reach forward and up. Exhale as you reach back. Inhale as you reach up and forward. Exhale as you drop down. And go ahead and play with this movement, coordinating with your breath as you go. Feel free to hang out in particular positions for a while and play with creative movement. Sort of deviating or moving away from the choreography and really allowing your spine, your arm, your shoulder, your neck to release and unwind. One more round. Eventually finding your way back to center and switching the feet. Right arm extends forward and connects with the knee. Let these two points really hug in towards each other. Left arm, inhale, reach forward and up. And exhale, reach back behind you, look towards your hand. Inhale, reach up and back to the front of the space as you exhale. Inhale, reach forward and up. And exhale as you reach back and look back. Rewind that, inhaling as you come around and exhaling to drop the hand. And now continue like that or find creative movement to unwind spine, shoulder, arm, neck. Feel free to let this evolve in its own way. Keeping the breath flowing. completing this exploration for now. Really good. Let's make our way into child's pose. You can remove the blanket that was underneath your bottom. And if you know that you have tender knees, you might wanna place that underneath your shins and your knees so that your knees are padded for when we move to tabletop later. So to come into child's pose, you'll bring your big toes together and your knees wide. We're gonna move in and out of the posture a few times as a way to help warm up the hips. So place your hands down on the floor in front of you, at least shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Then we're gonna draw up towards a tabletop position and then sink the hips back while we sort of rock them side to side towards the heels. You can walk your hands a little bit forward and do that again, inhale as you come up and exhale, sort of snake the spine down and reach the hips back towards the heels. And one more time, let's bring the hands a little bit more forward and snake the spine down. And once the pelvis reaches as far down towards the heels as possible, you can start to snake the upper spine down until your forehead comes to the floor. If your forehead cannot easily reach the ground, instead you can stack your hands or your fists underneath your head. We'll take a couple of deep breaths here. And while you rest here, you can play with rolling your forehead side to side against the ground as a way to massage the brow line and release some tension from the eyes. Good, and then go ahead and rise up to tabletop. We'll place our knees underneath the hips and parallel the shins back behind us. 
and inhale stretch out the belly lift your tail lift your head and exhale tuck your tail tuck your chin and push into your arms to puff up your upper back so we'll inhale stretch out the belly into cow pose and exhale stretch out the back body by contracting the belly and rounding cat pose and feel free to deviate from this forward and backward movement perhaps you stretch side to side Perhaps you move through your head and neck to stretch and release through your shoulders and neck. And then go ahead and walk your feet back behind you. And you can do this with your knees down or up. We're gonna come into a plank pose. Take a round of breath. And then exhale, lower your knees down and come all the way to your belly. Untuck the toes. We'll slide the hands back a little bit and draw the shoulders back. Open the chest, lift the head and chest off of the ground. Extend back through your toes and take a few deep breaths here. You can play with either pressing your hands into the floor to pick up a little bit taller and more back bend position or you can stay low and get this really delicious breath. So as I inhale, the breath moves my belly into the floor and I rise a little. And as I exhale, my belly softens and I lower a little. I'll just go ahead and play with a variation that feels good in your body today. I'll take one more round of breath. And exhale, lower down, tuck the toes under, and press back into tabletop. We'll move the knees apart from each other now so they're a little bit wide. And we'll take our right arm up towards the sky. And here you can reach your arm, roll out your wrist. Go ahead and play with ways that this can feel good in your body, exploring the reach. And then on your next exhale, take the right arm behind the left and bring your right cheek towards the floor for thread the needle. And we'll inhale, reach the right arm back up again. And exhale, reach into thread the needle. We'll do that one more time. And reach the right arm behind the left Rest the right side of your head to the floor. And I'll give you a forward view if you are um, unfamiliar with this shape. Your left arm is acting like a kickstand. You can press into your left hand to help open your chest. And if it would feel good, you might even reach the left arm up towards the sky and kind of roll out your wrist and open the left side of your chest here. We'll take one more round of breath. And exhale, bring that left hand down if it's lifted. And inhale, reach the right arm up again towards the sky. Exhale, we'll set the hand down and go to the other side on an inhale, lifting through the left arm. Go ahead and play with your arm extended here. Play with reaching and changing the angle of your arm. Unwinding the tension along the whole left side of your chest and upper back. And we'll take one more deep breath here. And on the exhale, left arm behind right, threading the needle, left cheek towards the floor. Inhale, reach back up towards the sky. And exhale, left arm threads the needle. One more time. Exhale, left arm threads and you can stay here or you can reach your right arm up towards the sky. 
rolling out that right wrist if that would feel good. On your next exhale, take your right hand back to the ground if it's lifted and inhale your left arm back up towards the sky. Take your left hand to the ground. We'll tuck our toes under. We're gonna reach the hips back and up and push the floor away from you. So as you come into down dog, you've got a really long spine with your chest pressing towards your legs. And then we're gonna just straighten one of your legs out at a time and let that heel sink to the ground. And then bend that knee and straighten the other leg and let the heel sink to the ground. We'll spend another few moments here, perhaps pedaling your feet in place or finding stillness with both legs equally straight or bent. And let's all take a big deep breath in together. And a full exhale out. We'll take a walk up to the top of the space and you can come into ragdoll hang. So your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than your hips. You can bend through the knees a little bit here and let your belly rest to your thighs. Let your head hang off of your spine, heavy like a bowling ball. A couple of options for your arms, you can Interlace the fingers at the base of your skull and give your head a little bit of traction down towards the ground. Or you could grab onto opposite elbows and let the weight of your arms carry your spine deeper into the stretch. Feel free to sway here to play with bending and straightening one leg at a time. Imagine the tension from your back and your shoulders falling away into the earth. You can release them on long, expressive exhales out the mouth. Good, and then we'll either roll up, if that would feel good on your back, you could roll up or you could press into legs and straighten your spine to come up to stand. We'll reach the arms up overhead, walk the feet underneath our hips and feel a big full body stretch up towards the sky. And on your exhale, bring your hands to heart center and down by your sides in mountain pose and just take a moment to appreciate how your breath might be fuller now that you've stretched away some of that tension. We'll inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Spread through your chest as you glide down. Inhale, press into your legs and extend your chest forward for a halfway lift. And exhale, deep fold. Inhale, reach your left foot back into a lunge. And on your exhale, really make sure that that right foot is directly underneath the knee. Strong legs, inhale, reach the arms up. Stay for the exhale breath. Deep breath in. Then exhale, hands come down. Step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward into plank 
and on your exhale with your knees down or lifted lower towards your belly untuck the toes inhale baby cobra or press into your hands for up dog exhale downward facing dog take a big deep breath in full exhale out deep breath in full exhale out let's reach the left leg up to the sky big stretch of that left leg it might feel good to bend your knee and open your hips and we'll step the left foot between the hands on an exhale breath making sure your lunge is really long inhale rise up crescent lunge and stay on the exhale breath deep breath in and exhale bring your hands down and step forward into forward fold inhale halfway lift extend your chest forward and exhale deep fold press into your feet rise up and exhale your hands to heart center one more time through inhale reach up exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift and exhale deep fold take your right foot back and on your exhale breath settle into your lunge inhale push through your feet to rise crescent lunge stay on the exhale breath deep breath in and exhale lower down inhale step your left foot back and come into down dog if you're up for another one of those planks shift forward and on your exhale lower all the way to your belly or halfway and cobra or up dog exhale downward facing dog take a round of breath We'll inhale the right leg goes high and feel free here to open the hips bend the lifted leg sort of stretch out through that extension as you rise and on your exhale swing your right foot forward between your hands situate your legs so that you can rise into your crescent lunge staying here on the exhale staying on the inhale and exhale bring your hands forward and step forward forward fold at the top of the mat inhale halfway lift and exhale deep fold press through your feet rise up reach towards the sky and take your hands to heart center we're going to step wide on the mat big wide-legged stance here you can have your toes uh, facing towards that long edge of the mat with the feet parallel and we're going to take our hands down to the ground for a big forward fold and if you like you can sway side to side bending one knee deeply and then the other stretching into one leg at a time or you can hang right down the middle See what feels good in your body today. And we're gonna come back to center. So if you're going side to side, come back. And we're gonna walk over to the right foot and come into a lunge again. So bring your hands on either side of the front foot. And we're going to reach the right arm up towards the sky for twisted lunge. And 
and bring your right hand down. We'll bring the left knee to the ground and straighten out through your right leg for a half split. You can walk your right foot forward a little bit and sort of turn your foot up, flex your foot so your toes are pointing towards the ceiling. And then really lean into your breath here. This is an intense stretch. Deep breathing, releasing the tension where you can and really trusting that the more you face your tension and tend to it in these ways, the more it will ease up. So avoidance is what we want to do, <laughs> but it doesn't ever resolve the issue. And only with coming back over and over again and feeling your tension, does it ever go away. <laughs> So being patient with yourself, being gentle, knowing it takes time. And we'll rock forward, re-bending the right knee. This time, keep your back knee down and we'll reach our arms up towards the sky for Anjane Asana, knee down, low lunge. And you're welcome to stay here. We'll be here for a little bit. You can also play with different variations. Perhaps you want a side stretch or you want to deeply twist over the front leg. See what feels good today in your body with your knee, your knee down in this lunge. Some folks really enjoy folding forward into more of like a lizard position. So you see what feels good today. Listen to your body and then whatever you discover is Useful, you're gonna stay for about five slow, deep breaths. Great, and then go ahead and walk your hands back on either side of the front foot. We're gonna pick up the back knee and walk into a wide-legged forward fold from here. So pivot to your left, return to wide-legged forward fold. Feel free to sway side to side or to hang right down the middle of two straight legs. And then we'll walk over to the left side, coming into a left-sided lunge. Really make sure you've got lots of space between your feet so you're very long on your mat. And we'll take the left arm up towards the sky, breathing deeply into the twist. And you can bring your left hand down. Your right knee can bend and we'll move into a half split, straightening out the front leg and bringing the hips back over the knee. And here we are connecting with big lines of tension that run along the whole back side of the body. We wanna be gentle and patient Allow our body to rock in and out of the stretch. Sinking into the breath, more than the stretch, more than the stretch, think about deepening the breath. The stretch will come when the body is ready. The release of tension will come when the body is ready. And so much of that is dependent on feeling safe. And deep breathing is one of the biggest ways we can tell our body that we are safe. Deep, slow breaths. All right, bend into that front leg again. This time, let's keep that back knee down. And you can walk both hands up, 
reach towards the sky. Feel free to stay here. This is a lovely open uh, back bending shape or side bend or twist, either an open twist or taking that right elbow around the front thigh. Or lastly, you can follow me today. I just happen to feel like kind of deepening through the hips and so I'm folding forward. Both hands are on the inside of the front leg and letting the hips fall to the ground. Once you find the position that feels good for you to explore, go ahead and settle there and take a few deep breaths. and come back to a lunge on the left side, picking up the back knee. And we'll step the right leg forward, coming into a forward fold at the top of the space. Take a few deep breaths here. If it would feel okay on your shoulders, you can interlace your fist at your low back and reach your fist overhead, stretching your shoulders and chest. Go ahead and bring your hands down to the ground, bend at your knees and lower. And we'll want our blanket and we'll want our uh, can of food or if you have those therapeutic balls, you can use that instead. And have your blanket folded up and nearby and to begin, we're gonna lie down on our backs with nothing underneath the head at first. The knees are bent. You can take your hands by your sides. Take a few moments here to let the muscles of your back soften into the ground. Relax your shoulders. We'll press into the hands and the feet and inhale, reach the hips up towards the sky for bridge pose. And stay here for a couple of breaths. See if you can use your hands and your arms and shoulder blades to press down to help lift your chest up. We'll take one more deep breath. And then slowly lower your upper back down, your mid back, your low back, pelvis all the way to the floor. We'll hug the knees into the chest, and rock side to side, massaging the low back against the ground. And then we'll set our feet to the floor. So I like to do figure four, which is where we're headed next, with a blanket underneath the head or a little cushioning. And depending on your neck and head, you might not feel like you need this. So we'll take the right leg up to start and go ahead and roll your right ankle in big circles in one direction, stretching out through the foot and the toes and then in the other direction. And we'll take the right ankle over the left thigh, hug your left thigh into your chest. <sighs> Figure four. So what I find here is if you keep your head and upper back against the floor just as it is, and slightly shift your legs a little bit to the left, like an inch or two, and then a little bit to the right, 
you might find some interesting unwinding through the outer right hip. So see if subtle movement helps you release tension in your hips. And if you'd rather be still, you can. And while you release tension in your hips, can you also let the tension from your jaw and from your head and neck go into the support below you? Good, one more round of breath. And we'll take our feet to the ground and just take a moment. Sometimes it feels good to windshield wiper your knees side to side. I'll just take a moment here to pause between sides. All right, walking your feet back to the floor with your knees bent, we'll take the left leg up towards the sky and do big circles with the ankle and foot. And then switch the direction of those circles. And then we'll flex the foot and cross the ankle over the right thigh and hug the right thigh in towards the chest. Now, I should have mentioned this on the first side. If it's hard for you to reach the back of your leg, you can always use a belt and put it around the back of your leg and hold on like this. So you wanna make sure that you have a comfortable clasp here so that you're not over-efforting through the arms and through the shoulders. You can keep your upper body soft while you're trying to unwind tension in your pelvis and feel free to rock side to side here if that would feel good. Take one more round of breath. And release down. Feel free to rock the legs side to side or just simply pause here in stillness. Allow your breath to become full again if you've sort of let that go. And we'll take our canned food or the therapeutic massage balls and place them underneath the neck. And you can adjust the height of your pillow underneath you if, if you would like, or you could take the pillow away if that's better. And I like to put the pressure right at the base of my skull, right where the head and the neck meet less on the neck and more on the back of the head. If you're using a can and it feels too hard, you can put the can between the folds of the blanket and the blanket will soften it a little bit. And you might roll your head all the way to one side. and back through and back through center and all the way to the other side and 
then back through center and a little rocking side to side. Feel free to explore this for however long you like or taking the massage tool out from underneath your head and just resting with your legs out in front of you like you're taking a little nap. Go ahead and get comfortable if you choose to lie all the way down. Maybe you put a blanket over your body for warmth. Maybe you put some pillows underneath your knees to support your low back. And once you find a comfortable place, take a big deep breath in through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Deep breath in. Full exhale. One more round of breath. And exhale all the way to empty, allowing the weight of your body to settle to the earth. You're welcome to stay here longer or make your way into a big full body stretch. Perhaps yawning or sighing. And eventually turn to one side, press into your hands and come up to a seat. Again, you can put a blanket underneath you to support your spine. And in these last couple of minutes of practice, we'll just tend to the neck a little bit more here, sort of moving side to side, noticing if there's any last movements that would feel good to release through your arms, through your head, through your jaw your shoulders. And when you're ready, you can bring your hands together and bow in gratitude to the lineages that inform this practice of yoga and also in gratitude to yourself for showing up. I know how difficult that can be. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.